Hey y'all, welcome back to another sensual flow sequence with your girl Vani. Today we're going to start off with some gentle neck rolls, rolling our right ear to our right shoulder, then back around to the front, left ear to our left shoulder, slowly embracing ourselves, right? Because when we think of sensual energy, we're thinking of touch play, exploration. So use this time to really just graze over your body and see what areas need some work. Right here, I'm starting a round of fire breaths, breathing very gently, being intentional with each breath to bring about healing energy, positive energy. So this is another way to connect to our womb space. If you're someone who experiences womb challenges like PCOS, infertility, endometriosis, fire breaths is something that is definitely going to be helpful to you in your healing journey. So I do about three or four rounds of that, just working on building up my energy and really feeling fired up and feeling warm within my temple. So now I'm finishing out my rounds of neck rolls and I'm gently going to start introducing some arm movement here, getting into some arm play, chest openers, and really just feeling comfortable, really allowing the sun and source to do the work. So now I'm going to gently kind of brace myself to Mother Earth, having the intention to release any type of negative energy within the heart space, really opening my space and really just allowing some new energy within. Now I am going to take my left arm and kind of go to the left side with my right arm slowly stretching over to that right side, taking my time in the middle, really allowing my body to seep into this stretch, especially if you're someone who experiences back pain or any type of shoulder pain, chest pain, this is definitely going to help you in releasing some of that tension. So now I'm going to kind of do some of these hip sways. These are some of my favorite. It really gets the spine to release any type of bent up aggression. And really take the time to explore, even in this pose, what may feel good for you may not feel good for me and vice versa. So really take the time to explore different movements using the tailbone. Then we're going to really, really get deep into that, putting our chest to the ground and opening that space up a bit more. Something I wish I did do in this video was actually take my armpits and force them out. That's another way to really get deeper into this chest. Now we are going to go down, moving our ankles, getting some mobility in our ankles. This ankle mobility is going to prep us for our next pose, which is a beautiful back bending asana. This is bow pose, B-O-W. This pose is really helpful for opening up the heart space as well as fixing any type of back pain you may have, as well as releasing any tension that you may have built up in the hips. Allow yourself to rest in that. You can even bend your ankles up. Explore with some different movements that feels good to you. Now we are going to rest a little while in this camel pose and back up to this nice hip sway. Obviously, I was feeling hip sways this day. Um, hips are actually the house of our emotions. So movement in the hips is something I've always geared towards. Now we are going to go into our pigeon pose, which is another beautiful hip opening asana, making sure that we are able to really breathe deeply in this pose. Now, if you are able, definitely play around with some movements, taking your chest down. If you're not able to take your chest all the way down, focus on getting as far as you can. Intermediate option is to bring that left back leg up and to hold that, really breathing down, letting gravity help us out, letting that go, relaxing, going slow, taking the time to be mindful of our movements. We're in no rush. So now we're going to switch over to the other side and really letting ourselves just relax, okay? Letting gravity help us, really deeply breathing. You can even take this time to say some affirmations you may have been working on. And same thing before, option to bring up that back leg for an even deeper stretch, allowing our hips to really relax and open even further. 
All right, now you'll see me kind of go back to tabletop and do a little bit more of those spinal rolls. My body is very addicted to releasing any type of energy or emotion that may come up during my movement sequences. So that's what I like to utilize my time to really just release and focus that intent on ridding the body of that energy doing those neck rolls. So now you're going to see me go into a small headstand. This is a tripod headstand. So very beginning slash intermediate friendly um, for someone who may be working on some of their core strength if you're able to go ahead and allow your knees to be lifted up making sure we stay controlled in our cores and you can even go as far as doing a split if you're on the more so intermediate side something I personally have been working on in my movement sequences is control not letting my body fling all over the place in certain movements and poses so now I'm going to slowly bring myself back up to now a bridge pose and I'm going to go into the option of lifting my legs if you feel comfortable you can definitely play around with that and have fun that's the biggest part of your sequences is having fun and being sure that you're doing Doing things that feels comfortable for your body and safely getting out of poses <laughs> as you see there so thank you guys so much for viewing this video if you have any questions comments concerns definitely be sure to leave them down below if you guys want to see anything definitely be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time for another sensual flows be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already peace my loves I'll see you next time